Good evening and welcome. We are on the cutting edge of the avant-garde. I am the Divine David. I am the Divine Vine David. Television. Television. What is it? It's something to have in the corner of your room with maybe a fiber optic lamp top or some pop dogs or maybe a card from the people next door who've been to Benidorm or Prostatin. One sees adverts selling you things you really don't need. One sees ordinary human beings. But are there ordinary human beings? I'm going to coax the extraordinary parts of your nature and character. Oh, yes. Has television got a soul? Is it organic? Is it a government-sponsored plot to make us all stupid? Don't show anything real. Television. A lie machine. It's a lie. 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 Oh, yes. I'm here to liberate via television. Tonight, I'll be introducing to you Ernst <coughs> Lorraine. Ernst <coughs> Stacy. Together with a future. So I was sat on a train and it was derailed. I can't remember where, nor can I remember where I was going. I just remember thinking that it was an interesting experience. And now then, it gives me great pleasure to uh, invite you to a beauty workshop which is open to all. What I'm going to do now is transform my face into the most beautiful, elegant painting using a sponge and just a small bowl of water. We take a color at random, we dab in the sponge, on with the foundation, no idea what color it is, and sometimes with the foundation, why not go for a two-tone foundation effect, perhaps using half your face one shade, be a little bit daring, and go for a contrasting shade for the other side. That's lovely. So that's one colour. I wonder what colour I'm going to pull out now. And it's very experimental. People will talk at dinner parties, when you go to pick up the children from school, and you will be the absolute symbol of beauty in an urban environment. I wonder what color I'm going to pull out now. In goes the sponge into the water, a little bit around the eyes, just accentuating your own natural beauty. 
bringing the eye out. And if you're going to bring the eye out, why not your cheekbones? Now then, I've missed something out, haven't I? Lips. Very important. We're all attracted to the oral, aren't we? Mmm. That's lovely. I like to go for a full lip. It looks generous. And people are very attracted to thick lips. Mmm. I look beautiful. If you've been following my step-by-step -step guide, you too will look beautiful. And you know what? Here's some more beautiful people. I hope nobody's been offended. <laughs> mail. I've had quite a bit this week. I've had quite a bit of mail put through my letterbox. Shall we see what this particular padded envelope contains? <laughs> ah, somebody sent me some liver. It looks about the size of an adult male homo sapien how lovely whoever sent me this thank you very much i shall of course be making a ragu out of it later thank you and if anybody has anything that they'd like to send me as the weeks progress please do so it's always lovely to have mail <laughs> Hello. As we all know, the avant-garde is international, if not intergalactic. I've got another video. Shall we watch it together? I think we should. Hi, this is Boogaloo Stew in New York City. Ah, and kick. Oh, here's a big shiny tray. I'd better get on. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. A lot of people say to me, Stu, you know, you got a great ass. 
I say that's very true. It's all due to my morning workout and, of course, a great deal of style and sophistication. First up, a jog around Battery Park, past the Statue of Liberty. Quick stop for lunch and then on to Town Square. Time to dance myself dizzy. Nobody dances better than me. And now, on behalf of Channel 4, some rather short, colourful films for your education. What's next, I wonder? And now out onto the streets of London, asking relevant questions that concern each and every one of us. Life, the avant-garde, indeed all topics that are currently being debated hotly around breakfast tables up and down the country. Where is the avant-garde? What? Hello. Morning. The things that terrify you, what would they be? There's should life be beautiful? Yes, no, don't know. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, well, I'll put a tick there. Hello. Where is the real world, Elizabeth? The real world? Yeah. I'm talking to it right oh, now. Oh, how lovely. Thank you very much. I love your accent. I'm 17. I think that we should all be given money, at least 50 pounds a day, uh, so that we can go away and express ourselves. Which side of the street do you think is more appealing? I think that that side. This side? Yes. Yeah, the other side. Yes, yes. Right. I think there is another yes. side. Um, the other side is often more avant-garde. I'm just going to do a portrait of this beautiful lady. If only people weren't given guns. You know, they'd be better off with one of those tapestry kits. Really, wouldn't they, rather than messing about with guns? Yeah. Similarity, that's lovely. Do you, do you ever want to go? Yes. Where is the other one going? Well, I mean, it's where you want it to be. Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday, okay, thank you. Why are you here, John? On the street? Yeah, or born. I mean, why, why are you alive? I don't know, really. It's nice that you're here, anyway. Of course. Yeah. Shoes a fox. Oh, yeah, shoes. Love you, good luck. And what about murder? Do you think you should be able to murder just once in your life? Yeah. I do too. Definitely. And I think as long as you don't sort of make a habit of it, you know. Yeah. You're all very, very incredible to do me. Do I really? <laughs> I think that there is a revolution starting. Hello, join the revolution. <laughs> Tuesday's a good day to start your week. Right. And Wednesday's is a good day to really end it. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I like it when weekends meet in the middle. Wednesday. Right. Why Wednesday? I don't know. I like Tuesday. It's yeah. the day after Monday. What does the destruction of the 20th century mean to you? I think it's wonderful. Has anybody videoed the use of these handcuffs and shown you the video? Showing me the videos? Yeah. No, no. 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 It's a shame, isn't it? Hello. Hello. 
can you dance and sing oh, and, yes. and all the rest? Yeah, of that? I can do contemporary dance. Well. Hello. <laughs> I've got some mail. I wonder what's in this padded envelope. Shall I have a look? <gasps> a video cassette. <laughs> Let's watch it together. Hi, and welcome to Cooking with the Supermodels. I'm Naomi Dumpley. You know, sometimes I find it really hard to balance a career as a supermodel and a housewife. So I've come up with an easy three-step way to make no bake steak and kidney pie. All you need is some steak, kidneys, carrots, onions and herbs, and a pie plate. Gather all the ingredients together, bend yourself over a chair, and then shove it up your bum. Ooh. Ooh. And grab a hand blender, and mix. Oh! <gasps> Now, just sit back and relax glamorously for 45 minutes in your exclusive London apartment. When your 45 minutes is up, spread your legs and strike a pose in true supermodel fashion. Carefully place a pie plate between your legs on the floor. Now just aim and shoot. And voila, there you have it, steak and kidney pie. Oh, that's my man Ronnie, and about time too. Where you are, sweetie? Join me next week when you can see my girlfriend Linda Wangalista make Shanghai surprise in her own special way. Mark, you know this tastes like shit. <laughs> A life in performance, from Hanover to Hangover. Hanover, a tiny pocket handkerchief principality somewhere in Germany. And our Hanoverian royal family, only marvelous. Wouldn't it be lovely if the next celebration were meant to connect with, to feel at one with, is their golden anniversary of 50 years of being publicly dysfunctional.
just like every other family. No. Wouldn't it be marvelous if Margaret seized the crown? At least then we'd be able to have a drinky food whenever we wanted. Wouldn't that be marvelous? And the wonderful thing about it is that after a lifetime of performance, they really should know when to bow out. Maybe it's time to say ciao, good night. Und? Thank you very much. I'd like to leave you with a thought. We are the future. Ciao! I am the Divine David, and this is an appeal, an appeal for males.